Hey there YouTube, uh, this is my quick review on these Red Wing 2440D. I just bought them today, I literally wore them out of the store. Uh, definitely about a hundred bucks over my budget, mainly because I got upsold on these uh, inserts that they have. And yeah, I'm a, I might be a sucker for them, but you know, I figured I've been going through cheap pairs of uh, Carhartts over the years, and I just got fed up with them falling apart, you know, quickly, you know, six to eight months. So I figured I'd spend my money and pop, buy myself a really good pair of boots. Um, all in all, with the insole and these boots, I think the boots retail about 229 The insole is about 60 something I was probably out the door around 312. Yeah, that's $312 for a pair of boots. No joke. But I was sold on the fact that I can bring them in as many times as I like, whenever I like, to get treated, cleaned. Uh, and from what I hear, that's what you're supposed to do with boots. You're supposed to treat them with leather softener and waterproofing protectant. Now these boots are waterproof. Uh, they come with a, I think it's either aluminum or composite toe. It's not a steel toe. Um, I like the look. A lot of steel guys, I work commercial concrete. We're on rebar and hard concrete all day, every day. 10, 12 hour days sometimes. Um, a lot of the older guys, you know, keep telling me, get the wedge because, you know, I'm getting older. I'm up there in my late 30s. Back starting to hurt, knees starting to hurt, feet hurt all the time. Uh, these are Vibram soles. I've never heard of that before, but the sales guy said, you know, that's top of the line. I'll have to do some research on it. Again, I literally just bought these today. I like the look of them. They don't look shiny, sparkling, brand new, so hopefully some of the guys won't give me a hard time about buying some expensive shoes. You know, some of the younger guys kind of make fun of you when you drop a lot of money on boots, but the older guys, they swear by the Red Wings. I've owned Red Wings in the past, and they were terrible. Uh, it wasn't this model. It was the heel kind, uh, composite toe, lightweight, lightweight. Uh, gave me heel spurs. I mean, the worst I've ever had. I went through two pairs of them, and I did wear those past their lifetime. I literally wore the sole completely off. I don't have those anymore to show you, but it could have been that I just wore the boot past its lifetime and that's what caused my foot pain um it happened more on the second pair than it did the first pair so uh real quick and then i'll finish up i so i went to wedge i'm, I'm going to update this video if you guys remind me in six months you know three months if anybody asks uh, one thing it looks like it is going to pick up a lot of gravel i got a pea gravel driveway that's annoying, but majority of my day is on concrete, finished concrete or rebar. So I'm not too worried about that. I did notice that this uh, stitching here is reinforcement just to keep, you know, the toe from flapping, which I've had happen on my Carhartt boots before. Uh, what I don't like is that they literally just burned the end of the thread, you know, it's nylon. They just melted it in and I'll show you the other one here in a second. Um, I'm worried with the way I walk. I either drag my heels or I'm scuffling on my toes a lot, depending on what kind of traction I need on the job. But I'm concerned that this thread is just going to eventually wear out. Now, I don't know if that's going to be considered a manufacturer's defect under warranty or wear and tear. They do warranty these boots, but, um, you know, wear and tear on these soles is on you. So if this thread wears out, I guarantee they're gonna say that was wear and tear, not manufacturer's defect, even though I think that's a very poor placement. I feel like this thread will just eventually wear away and the reinforcement for this to this you know toe part of the sole is just gonna start flapping. Now it's probably glued in. Um, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but it just seems like bad design to me. Um, pre-thick sole, 
walking on rebar and steel, a lot of you guys know, you know, you step in it with the middle of your boot to, you know, get your balance and everything. So this added sole is hopefully going to help me with my foot pain. Um, there was another thought I had. I, I like the tread. You know, it's not too tight together where it's going to pick up everything and just be clonking mud everywhere all over the job site if I do happen to get into an outdoor job site and then go indoors, which I do a lot of. Um, I'll update again, like I said, in a few months. Uh, they're pretty good boots. They, they feel heavy, but not much heavier than my Carhartts were. I've owned Rockies. Uh, the Rockies were pretty heavy boots. These are probably about the equivalent. They feel snug. Uh, I'm wearing a size 10D, which is wide. Uh, my toe does not hit all the way to the front. Now, I wore nine and a half on my, my uh, Carhartts, just to give you an idea how different brands can size differently. Um, nice, thick pad on the ankles, which I need, because I bang my ankles a lot on rebar and beams and stuff when I'm walking through jobs. Um, I don't wear these during concrete. Uh, I don't wear them in wet concrete. I got rubber boots for that. So these guys are mainly just for, you know, prep work, finish work, stuff like that. Uh, that's about it. So I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully these last me. I hope I get eight to 12 months out of these without anything falling apart. Um, Again, what really sold me on them is I can take them in whenever I want to get treated. Maybe that'll help the longevity. You can replace, you can get them resold for a hundred bucks. So, two hundred and twenty-nine dollar pair of boots. After a year, I can get it resold as long as I take care of the top. I can get this replaced for a hundred bucks, and I think that's kind of worth the money in a way. Again, I'm worried about the stitching, but. We'll have to see how that goes. I have a 30-day comfort warranty. So if I wear these for 30 days straight on the job, as long as I don't cut them open or, you know, torch them or drop paint on them to the point where they're just not no longer recognizable, I can return them within 30 days. So if that happens, I'll definitely let you guys know. Thanks for listening. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think.